quick revision video on infrared spectroscopy. So we'll just run through the basics first and then we'll have a look at some spectra. So covalent bonds absorb infrared radiation and that causes them to vibrate. And different bonds absorb different frequencies of infrared. If we take a sample and apply infrared radiation of different wavelengths, you can see on the other side we've lost this wavelength. It's not coming through this side. And so therefore something in the sample has absorbed it. That's why we're not seeing it. So what happened there is a bond in the sample is absorbing this frequency and it's causing the bonds to vibrate and that's why we don't see it. So in the exam we've obviously got the data sheet and here's all the information for infrared absorptions. So you can see all the different bonds that we could be asked about, the kind of organic molecules they would be found in and the frequency of infrared radiation that they absorb. So that's measured in wave numbers and the unit centimetres to the minus one. So that's basically how many waves per centimetre. So a typical infrared spectrum would look like that. So we've got transmittance on the y-axis. So it's roughly 100% of this um, wave number is getting through the molecule. So there's no absorption here. And then at about 3000 this is, then something in the molecule is absorbing this radiation, this wave number of radiation. And so the transmittance dips right down. So not very much is getting through on the other side. So a bit like this scenario here. And then it goes back up. So nothing in the molecule is absorbing anything of this wave number. And then something does here and so on. And just to finish, the spectrum doesn't tell you how many of a type of bond you've got. Um, the size of the absorption is basically linked to how well that bond absorbs infrared. So the first spectrum we'll look at is that for methane. Um, I've vastly oversimplified this spectra. I will show you the actual spectrum, but I just want to use these simplified ones to show you what's going on. So looking at the displayed formula, you can see all we've got is a CH bond. So we've got some ac activity here at around about 3000. So looking at the data sheet, you can see that the CH bond absorbs between 2850 and 3100. So they are indeed the CH bond absorbing there. And the actual spectrum looks like that. Um, the different peaks are due to the fact that there are different types of absorptions, which you don't need to know about for A-level chemistry. Um, but I've got a slide at the end that shows you all the different types of absorptions you can get. So we'll look at ethene now. So looking at the displayed formula, we've got two types of bond, CH and C double bond C. So you can see we've got, there's that CH absorption again, and just over 1500, we've got the C double bond C. So you can see there, there's the wave number range, 1620 to 1680. And there's the actual spectrum there. So you can see we have got activity in the same region as my simplified one. And looks like the C double bond C is probably this one here. Methanol now. So we've got three types of bond. We've got the CH, we've got the C single bond O, and we've got the OH. So going from left to right, we've got the OH absorption of an alcohol. Now notice there are two types of OH absorption. We've got carboxylic acid, alcohol, and phenol. So it's always a good idea to say what type of OH we're talking about. So if you look at the range this is in, it's going from about 3,200 up to about 3,004. So that fits in with this range here. So it's the OH of an alcohol. There's your CH and there's your C single bond O at just over 1,000. And the actual spectrum looks like that. So you can see similarities. There's the OH. There's the CHs, and there's the C single bond O. Propanone now. So what kind of bonds have we got here? We've got CH, C single bond C, and C double bond O. So going from left to right, we've got the CH bond. There's the C double bond O, and there's the C single bond C. And there's the actual spectrum there. And the last one we'll look at is propanoic acid. So displayed formula, what kind of bonds we got? CH, C single bond C, C double bond O, C single bond O, 
and OH. So going from left to right, we've got the OH of a carboxylic acid now. So you can see it's a very broad absorption and it starts sort of below 3000 and goes up to what's at about 33. And you can see there, two and a half to three, three broad there. And then these little spikes to the left hand side of the OH, they would be your CH absorptions. There's your C double bond O, C single bond O, C single bond C. And the real spectrum looks like that. So I would strongly advise that you annotate your spectra as you're processing the information. So just like I'm doing there, and the examiner can credit you for that. So why do the spectra look a lot more complicated than my simplified ones? It's all because there are different ways the bonds can absorb the radiation. They don't just stretch. You can see there's lots of different types of absorptions. So you've got asymmetrical stretching, scissoring, rocking, and so on. And all of these absorptions require a slightly different amount of infrared.